and then Kai, and we'll be talking about the Oh Five! If I still can properly dispose so. In relation with water pollution. Our Top Five! It's a threat to marine life. It's a threat to marine life. Marine life? Well, it becomes a threat to marine life because number one, they often mistaken plastics as their food. We watched a video with uh, this turtle wearing the straw like that's not on its nose when it was bleeding, and you can see no, the reaction of the turtle. The turtle. Oh, you can feel the pain. Another one is the detergent. Yes, the chemicals. chemicals. Yeah. The waste. Now, mostly um, chemicals emitted by certain industries and factories. Which are actually kind of on the nearest riverbank areas or body of water. That's just where they directly throw their waste. And that's really, really improper, you know. So why is it also deadly to the marine life? Well, of course, it destroys the natural habitat. For our top four is fish kill. Fish kill is a massive killing of fish. What's the reason behind of this fish kill? It's because of the chemicals, the acid rain. The oil spill. The oil spill. Yes. Been Executed to the surfaces of the earth, absorbed by the fish, and then that yeah. is actually coined very unhealthy. It's not so good. Why? Because it disrupts the ecological balance of the biodiversity. Yes, it disrupts the ecological balance. Why? Because food web, you know, when we were in grade three, eagle eats the rat, rat eats the fish, and fish is being eaten by the human, which is us. So in the very end, we will still become the consumers for our time. Flood. Flood. Flood, which is very prominent and common to the Filipino people of the Philippines. So shout out, Filipino people! <laughs> the Filipino throw over trash. They hear, there, and that's why they got stuck in the street. You just throw there and there, and they got stuck in the street. And then when it comes to rain, a three minute rain is equivalent to a week of rain. That's why we experience just floods. You know, these floods aren't just a flood that is just up to the soul of the feet. It's like until. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes. Here. So sometimes, if the flood is right in front of you, you do not know whether to save your life, your phone, or the house. What really causes flood? Of course, the trash. According to what she said, yes, the waste, the proper waste management. And there's a one problem in our country. What? What is it? Because you know, there the water has its own natural way to flow. But then our country is very intelligent that it tried to go yeah. on the contrary. And now here we go. We're moving on to top two. Yes, water contamination. It's actually a safe and healthy, and safe, healthy. safe to drink water that is being contaminated, making it unpure and unsafe and, and bad for the health. You know, yeah. I have my own, own disease. Yes, I have. Speaking of disease, I have my own personal experience with this very unsafe bottle. You know, I've oh, experienced yeah. just last year, January, and the biases. It, it really hurts. Putting aside the expenses, it really sucks. It hurts a lot on my gut. So think of the little ones who might become a victim of this disease. They do not have that strong immunity. And they cannot yeah, endure the pain that I have felt myself. So please. Because according to the study by the year 2025, if we don't take good care of our water, we'll be having this less amount of water to be consumed every day. There might not be enough, or there might be a huge scarce of safe yeah. water, you know? Imagine if there's no safe water. Like, if you ask your mom, Mom, can I have a glass of I'm safe here. water? Here. And then you find that it's your room. For our top one! The one. Top one. Ten. Yes, still ending to us. Yes, why is it a threat to human life? You know, sometimes if there is flood, there is these beautiful rats that come swimming in the rest in the floods. You know, and just like people, when you swim, you feel like you want it to be. Rats feel the same. If they swim, they, they pee in the flood. And now we, we play in the flood. <laughs> and if you have an open wound and the rat just pee on the flood, then it goes into your wound and then it goes here. Yes, it, it makes you infected. Sick. Yeah, it makes you infected. It gets the, you will get an infection caused by the pee of the rat. And then what we call the leptospirosis. Then when it gets to your wound, it infects and then it slows down your um, immunity. It slows down your metabolism and everything. If you think that you are godly enough, brave yeah. enough, intelligent enough, wise enough, you know, innovative enough to destroy this land, to destroy whatever land forms, nature forms there is, whether it's 
fauna or flora or whatever, you know, it still leads up to us. So whatever we do to our environment, it always goes back to us. You know, no matter how much you rotate the food web, we will always remain the consumers. So please, do not please. wait for mother's earth revenge because it would be a complete disaster. Yes, and believe it or not, we've only given you our very own top five based on our own research. Yes, but believe it or not, there are numerous, I numerous, not. numerous effects out effects. there. Yes. Right now, while you're watching, try to raise your own awareness of what is going on in your environment. Do not just care about the latest brand, phone, mm -hmm. whatever always updates there are available on the market. Also, take care of the environment, you know? Start with yourself. Discipline comes first, you know? Everyone also just needs discipline. The least of what we could do is to discipline ourselves. And please take a look at the future. Do not, do not only live in the present, but think about the future generation. Yes, and if become an active. Yes, if active. we don't take good care of our water now, how about your next generations? Or how about your next, next generation? They would not be beneficial for the water. So please, 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 please. Thank you let, for what? Yes. Let the future generation enjoy what we enjoy now. Yes. Not let it just go down like a major extinction. Just so become active. Join in your local community. Whatever environmental campaign there is available. Do not be shy. Do not lock on your own room. Do not, not setting your eyes on that computer. It's bad for your eyes. Go out. Do not be mindless. Open your eyes. Raise your awareness. Because the future starts in your hands. Right now. So let's all together share a cleaner water, greener future. Yes. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Bye.